today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do your first test of malware. Now, this is a safe malware. It's called the ICAR virus, and it's used for testing the functionality of malware software. It has a payload, but that payload is basically popping up a string saying, this is the ICAR virus. There is no danger in using the ICAR virus, especially if you download the correct code. Of course, this being information security, we never take chances. I'm telling you right now that the ICAR virus is completely safe. However, somebody could go up and put in a malicious copy of the ICAR virus online somewhere, and you could download that inadvertently. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up a new window, and we're going to Google ICAR. And we're uh, test string, actually, is probably the best way of doing it. And we can actually go to the ICAR.org website. There is also a really good uh, Wikipedia article on this as well. Regardless of where you go, you were looking for a string that looks like this. It is, I've, if for memory serves, it's 55 characters or something like that. I can't remember exactly how many characters it is, but this is the string that we are looking for right here. That's the string. And you have to capture all the characters. Okay? So once you've got that, you can open up Notepad and you can copy and paste that string into Notepad. At this point, it doesn't trigger anti, any anti-malware software, which is fine because we haven't saved it anywhere. But now, if I go File, Save, and say I want to save this on my desktop, and I'm just going to call it ICAR, regardless of the extension. I can call it anything I want. You've heard me say before, I'm going to call this Charlie Brown's Kite eating tree after Mrs. Boisvert, my favorite teacher from high school. doesn't matter what you call it, your antivirus software is going to flag it as malware. Okay, It's not. It's malware testing, so in this case Defender is doing its job. We have talked about setting up exceptions. If I put this file in one of my exception folders, for example, file save as, if I put it in my D drive, in my InfoSec folder, and call it icar.com, which is a big red flag, it's a problem. But because I've put it in a non-scanning folder, in this case Defender isn't going to do anything with that code, which is what I want, of course. If I choose to take a look at this code now, go to my D drive, go to my InfoSec folder, you can see the ICAR folder is right there. So we have created a virus, we have tested our antivirus software to see what the results are. We can take a look, we haven't talked about doing research on the virus string. We haven't done anything with um, virus total or anything like that. That's going to be next week. But that's what these hashes here are. They allow us to understand exactly what's going on Sorry, they give they allow us to research exactly what is going to go on with this with this malware. We can take these hashes, and I'll show you in the future how to discover these hashes, and then we can research them on sites such as Virus Total, so we can have a better understanding of what the payload might be. We're not there yet. So what we are going to do is we're going to try and detonate this malware at this time. It is a DOS program. So what we need to do is to run this in a DOS window. As I've told you before, the easiest way to do that is to click on the address bar and type in CMD to open up a DOS window in that folder. Now that I have done that, I can see that the ICAR virus is right there, eicar.com. And it says, I need to install support for 16-bit ver version in this version of Windows. 
There's a couple of ways of doing this. The easiest way is the NTVDM edition, and I cover that in the lecture notes that support this, but it's becoming more and more difficult to achieve that goal. So what I'm going to recommend you do is install DOSBox. I've already installed DOSBox here. It's a very simple tool. Runs DOSBox and it gives you the ability to run its focus, its goal has been in the past to run the old DOS games that some of us know and love. One of the side benefits of this is it allows us to create the testbed that we talked about in our introductory course. I need to create a testbed to test this virus so I can understand what its payload is. Now normally we wouldn't be doing this on our host machines, we would do this in a virtual environment, but we need to somehow detonate this malware so we can understand what's going on. This is the easiest way to show you how to do that with the simplest virus that is out there. Once you have DOSBox DOS box installed, you launch it, and the first thing you have to do is to map. There is an intro command which helps you with different things. One of the commands you can type in is intro map, and it gives you how to, or mount, sorry. and it tells you how to map a drive letter. Long story short, because I put my file in d colon backslash infosec like that, I can use that information with the mount command. I can say mount c colon to d colon backslash infosec. Just like that, and it says you have now mounted the drive letter c to the directory d colon backslash infosec. So when I go C colon dir star dot com, like I did before, it shows me that the iCar virus is there and I can now detonate it within this virtual environment, within this testbed that I have created to detonate this virus. At this point, I simply type in iCar dot com or frankly just iCar and it will detonate the virus. And as we saw in our lecture, it simply says this is the iCar antivirus test file. If you have any questions or difficulties with this, reach out to your instructor, Stephen. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.